Good afternoon, traders. Uh, it's AJ. Uh, today's secret sauce session is a little bit more to, want, well, most important, make money. The whole point of, of doing these uh, webinars and teachings is um, is for you to make money. That is the most important thing. And, um, you know, every morning when I get up, you all know I, I do these I do these notes, you know. And I basically lay out a plan how to how to start your morning. And we all know how I, I find this stuff. Um, I, I'm, I'm all over scans. The two scan services I use, as you know, is Newswatch, which is right here. And through Newswatch, I don't really look at any of these things here. Um, even though it's a massive, it's a great search of incoming information. And this service is really pretty fast. Now, Adam News, uh, dark side. A lot of them have maybe even faster services, but Newswatch to me um, is pretty fast. And they have they come from about 10, 12, 15 different services: Dow Jones, FD, um, RD, Street Street Insider. I do love them uh, very, very much. But I mainly use them for this button right here, and it's called Fly on the Wall. I click it, and just like that, and you'll see Fly on the Wall. And these are the analyst calls. Now, as you all know, there's over 4,000. 700 of them out there analysts, but you know fly on the wall only is going to use probably a good about 200 or 120 of them um, And then for me after trading for uh, 16 years I've got I've categorized the top uh, five and ten and then I've also have the top ten worst Which are a lot of my webinars and you know, obviously the strategy session as well um, so I you know You know with the market volatility we got earnings coming out I don't necessarily look at fly wall as much as far as just looking for upgrades, downgrades, because I mean we get up in the morning and we have you know stocks down 20, up 30, down 15. I mean we've got 10 point gap ups. I mean we just I mean there's I don't need an upgrade downgrade unless it goes along with what I'm trading. Um, and basically what I do in the morning once I determine my list, I I just go to fly on the wall. Uh, Zoom just yanked. Okay, so we don't know why Zoom is down. Hold on. Oh, nice little book. Probably just a big seller. Unless it flushes to 164, then it might be newsworthy. Um, and then I just start looking at like uh, ARVN, for instance. Let's just take that trade, for instance. Do I want to short the stock or do I want a long stock? Stock is gapping down 10 points. Why is it gapping down? Well, it's gapping down because... Um, um, updated information on a phase one so I punch it up I look and then I see that uh, one of the main uh, people on the stock uh, analyst that like the stock that rates the stock is actually saying buying the weakness okay so buy the weakness so that tells me nobody's cutting the stock down or chopping it down in half or saying it's worth 20 so this is a setup this is a trade this is a trade right here for anybody in the chat room. It doesn't matter your account size. You don't have to be playing Tesla. You don't have to play Shop. You don't have to play Netflix. You don't have to play Zoom. You don't have to play anything. You can just take this one stock, read the note, and understand what the stock is going to do. All right? So this is how we're going to trade the open. So let's just say you come in and you see you're looking at down a list and you see me typing. And if you notice now, uh, and again, I, I specifically do it for people like Brandy and your annual clients that have been here a long time. Um, I've been finishing everything in 10 minutes, uh, up to uh, I mean, finishing everything by 6:20. That allows me 10 minutes, about a minute per play, to go over each setup. Don't do this unless this does. Once this does, this will shoot here. Okay. Um, so I, I basically am describing. I'm laying out how the stock is going to trade now, for the day, not for the moment, not for the open, but for the day. Now, a lot of you are going to be like, I don't think there's anybody in the world that can do that. You, nobody can predict the movement of a stock before it opens. Come on. I mean, think about it. I mean, you have to be like a genius. Okay. Well, you decide what I'm at. You, you, you decide. You know, you look at my notes. If I'm 90%, 95 or today, this say, I was 110%. Correct. And what makes me correct when I do these notes, when I pick a stock and say, this stock is going to come here and then and pull here and then bottom curl and then you can long it. Well, how do you know that, AJ? Again, it, it's experience. It's reading the news. 
All right, reading the news. All right, so we got a Facebook chatter on uh, negative on Zoom, and the stock is pulling more. Remember what happened last time, so please be careful. The stock isn't flushing. Uh, let's take a look at the news wire to see if it came out yet. Uh, I don't see it here. 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 Nope, nope, nope. So again, Adam's wire quicker than Newswatch. So he's letting you know why it's pulling. So how would you trade that alert? If the stock starts to really give a yank at 163.50 and breaks, you could probably get about two or three more points slowly to the downside. But right now it's just a slow reaction, maybe because it just came out on the news. So you just watch it carefully and see if it starts to spring down. Okay. So going back to what we just talked about, all right? So let's just take, you know, uh, where is it? ARVN. Simple, simple, simple trade, simple setup. Now, I this stock is gapping down 10 points. So I predetermined, based on the news information given to me, based how I interpreted the news, based how I read the news, Based on how what the analysts are saying, I predetermined this entire stock play for all of you to capitalize on to make money. So what the information gave me today was two things. It's a phase one, and it should be bought into weakness. That gave me the direction of the stock. So I am telling you, oh my gosh, phase one, this is going to sell off 12, 12, 15 points. No, it's not. There's nothing to justify that move. If anything, the stock will recoup half of its gains back. So I'm going to be long positioned on this position on this stock. I'm going to allow a quick pull at the open because typically when you're down 10 points on a phase one or FDA or data information, we get a little bit of a pull. And I my floor on that pull is going to be 40, 38 to 40. It will not go under that. Okay. Now a lot of you are sitting here like, especially you new in the room. I don't get that. How do you know that? Okay, you need to, you need, this is when sweet sauce comes in, then I can explain it to you. But during that time, when you're trading the open, now is not, that is not the time to ask, you know, why is this coming down? There's plenty of time to ask after. Listen, let me tell you something. When you're trading the open, and a lot of you do, there's a hundred of you minimum that come in here in pre market in the open. And just the opening bell, it, you just, you're, you're like 120, 150 of you are just slamming in there. All right. That is not the time to be, you know, asking, why would this go up? Why would this go down? Why did you miss this stock? Well, what, you know, or simple questions like, what's your Twitter feed? That is not the time to ask a professional day trader who's trying to make a living any of those questions. I've already given you the layout. We can answer all of that later because in that 15, 20, 30 minutes, you can make so much money if you are if you understand what the stock's going to do before the opening bell. This is the whole key. This is why Awesome Calls exist. That's why we're called Awesome Calls Trading because we provide a great call before the market even opens. We predict the movement of the stock before the market even opens. We, we, we pinpoint the direction of the stock, and this is what makes us awesome and so different. Now, we know there's 18 rooms that came from here. Everybody wants to do notes now. Everybody's going to get put their opinion down on paper. This should do this. This should do What do you think it all came from? I mean, come on. Everyone knows why people are doing that because you need direction. You need someone, a professional, a true pro, 10, 15 years in the business, to really explain to you how a stock is going to react. Now, based on these notes, these 12 ideas, you all could be making thousands of dollars or $500 a day or $200 a day. I can't stress it enough. $250 a day is $1,250 a week. $1,250 a week is roughly about $6,000 a month. Now, I want you to think what all of you could do with $6,000 extra a month. Okay? If you did $100 a day, just $100 a day on a small account, and you had to work full-time or part-time at a restaurant or somewhere else, you did $100 a day, you make $500 a week, roughly $2,000 a month. Additional income to what you're doing. That $2,000 could pay your rent. 
that two thousand could pay a car payment and auto insurance and groceries on the table and your gas and electricity bill. You see, a hundred dollars a day adds up. Okay, if you do fifty dollars a day, now you're two fifty a week. You're making an extra thousand dollars a month to add to it. To me, when you're making, in my opinion, less than you know five hundred dollars a day, you have you kind of have a backup plan somewhere. Trading really isn't your first priority because you set your goals so low that what you make, if you make 300 or 200, you're happy. It's extra money for you because why? Because you have another job somewhere. When you, when you, or you have some backup plan or income coming in, right? But when you start to say, I'm going to make 400, 500, 600 a day, 800 a day, 900 a day, whatever, that's telling me that you're taking this extremely serious. That you're ready to go to the next level to show that you can show yourself that you have the ability to make that money on a consistent basis. What is consistent basis? What is consistency? Consistency is simply um, every day, day in and out, have a, have a structure, have a routine, hit your number, be done for the day. That's consistency and do it for not one month, not two months, not three months. I'm talking six solid months before you move to the next level. So if you're going to do 100 to 150 a day, you can't move up until you're in, at, at a six-month level averaging out that you're making $100 a day, five days a week. Uh, you're making $2,000 a month. At the end of the month, look at your P&L. Are you $1,800 a month? Are you $2,200 a month? Every month, what are you? Are you $1,950? Are you $21? After six months, you can move to the next level. You can say to yourself, I'm going to make... Now, instead of 150, I'm going to go to 250 a, month, a day. And you start doing that. And it's a gradual increase until you start getting to that 500. When you get to 500 every single day, okay, then consistent every single day. Now you're 2,500 a week. All right. Now you're 10 grand a month. Do you understand that? Now you're a $10,000, you're $120,000 doing what you enjoy. Just getting up, look at the news, interpret it, pick the direction of the stock, make your position, opening bell, boom, you're set to go. All right? Now, how hard is it to make $500? How hard is it to make $250? Well, let's take, let's take ARVN, for instance. All right? Here's a note. We set it up. AJ is indicating to buy the weakness. He's telling you in the note, this is to buy the weakness. Cheap stock. It's $41 by the weakness. Now, it's up to you. Do you want to buy 100 shares, 200 shares, 300 shares, 500 shares? Or if you're Noel, 2,000 shares, okay? Because, see, Noel, if he was here today, I don't think he's here today, but if he was here today, he would have bought 2,000 shares of something like this. He would have went, okay, as long as I get the bottom at 40, I'll go 1,000. If it dips, I'll add another 1,000. AJ says it's to buy the weakness. He thinks it's going to go back up to 40. 44, 45 or more, why not? I can make an extra thousand dollars on the side. Okay? Or two thousand or three thousand. If I get a point, point and a half, I make three thousand on this trade. This is a good trade. Because AJ said this isn't gonna pull or drop or sell off. It's just a simple trade. Now you could come in and say, well, I'll just do two hundred shares, two hundred and fifty shares. I'll be safe. If I get a point, great, two hundred and fifty. You're done for the day. Now, what is two hundred and fifty shares on forty dollars? Right? What is that? 10,000 buying power. So you need 10,000 buying power. So if you are at TradeNet, F1, or Waypool, and they give you 4, 6, 10, 15 to 1, whatever, right? So you want to build an account. So you say to yourself, okay, I want to make $250. I just want to make a point. I get a point and a half? Awesome. But my goal is to make 250 or if I want to do 100 shares, I want to make one point or 100. Hence, a stock is gapping down 10 points, so I'm giving you the ability to get three or four points on this trade when the opening bell hits. Now, how do you play the stock? Well, AJ says, look, if it pulls to the 40 area or under, consider it a gift. When AJ says that, when AJ writes, consider it a gift and to buy the weakness, he is telling you the direction of the stock is going to go up, not down. The direction of the stock is going to go up, not down. So he's telling you, don't be afraid if it pulls by that weakness. 
So let's just say you were buying at 41 and it pulled at the open to 40 or under. So do you add? Absolutely. Or you just wait for the opening bell to pull to 40. When it hits the 40 area, you start leaning into it long. Okay? You're already in it at 41 because I'm telling you it's going to go to 44, 45. But if you can get it at 40, it's even better, better pricing. Okay? Now we play the trade. So I've already indicated exactly how this is all going to play out. Now we go trade it. The bell rings, right? We punch up A A R V N A R V N, right? And we see the previous day on A R V N was here, so we can look at the last, the day before. So you see the gap down. Everybody sees the gap down, right? This would have been amazing to buy. But it's nice to buy at 35, but again, I would not buy that. Even yesterday after hours, I would not buy that until, listen to me, this is very important in day trading. You cannot go blindly and buy stocks without doing the homework, okay? You can't do that. You just can't. You have to know the reason behind the stock, where it's going to go. How do you know after hours? This 35 doesn't go to 30 or 20 or 25. Do the homework, you know? So for me, Nancy Pelosi speaking at 3. Okay. So at 12 o'clock. Um, so you know why she does that? Because she knows all of Wall Street's still trading. So this is the way she can get the most of her attention. You know? That's why she does it. She won't wait till 4 or 5 o'clock, you know? Anyway. So, I don't buy blindly. Like, sometimes on earnings, I got to know the information. Can somebody tell me the numbers? I need the numbers. I need the numbers. Once I understand the numbers, I can trade the stock. I need the information. I'm all about information. So, with ARVN, I, I can't do anything until I get the information. And then today, the information told me, okay, the stock should pull at the open to about a 40 level, bottom curl, and long. If it hits 38... Because I saw it hit 35 after hours yesterday, I have more room to add for a nice move to the upside. So now we execute the trade. Ding, 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 ding. Stock's moving up and down, up and down, up and down. Yanks. That's the yank I'm looking for. This is you now. You've got your 100 to 200 shares ready to go. You pull the trigger, put your limit order, you put your market order in, or if you have a limit order sitting at 41, room to add to 38 or 40, it's whatever you want. Okay, this is the most important thing of day trading. Okay, you have to execute the trade. All right, even if you want to get in with 100 shares, you can't sit there and stare at it. Well, maybe it'll go lower. The moment you start thinking that, and you, you basically just threw out my notes. You just threw them out. You're like, uh, this guy, he's a kook. He's, a, he's an idiot. He, the stock's going to probably pull to 30. It's a phase one miss because my friend on Twitter said it's probably $25. AJ's a, he just, he's an idiot. Okay? So you're overthinking. No, I'll wait till it hits like, if he says 38, the lowest, I'll go to 35. Next thing you know, the trade's done. Because you overthought it. From here to here, it popped three points. If you had your market order ready in at 100 shares, guess what? You would have made $300. You would have exceeded your goal with 4,000 buying power in literally... 60 seconds of the opening bell. Do you remember? Do you understand that? You would have been done if you were 100 a day, 200 a day, 300 a day, $400 a day. Depending on what you make, you would have been done. In the first blink on the opening bell, bam, slam it, 41 long, market order, boom. Right? Down you you made you're up $32 $32 on 100 shares. Right? Actually, you're up more than that, but let's just say you bought 41. Then you get the rip that I'm looking for. There's another. Now you're up 42.50. That is a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty move, a dollar fifty move. And look at the bell. In what seven eight minutes? So with a hundred shares, you've already up 150. If your goal is 100, you just exceeded your goal. If you're 200 shares, you just made 
300, $400, uh, on a point, $350. Now you've exceeded your goal again. Okay. If you're a Noel and you bought a thousand shares and it ripped, you're up 1500 and you, you just started your morning within seven, eight minutes. Now, if you give it a little bit more time and you, and you, I told you the stock was going to get to that 44 spot, you rip again. Now, look at the timeline. In 10 minutes, you literally went up three points, three solid points in one rip. Okay? In, in three rips, one, two, three. 100 shares, 300. 200 shares, 600. 300 shares, 900. You're done. And it will happen so fast that a majority will you will miss the move because you weren't prepared. I prepared you, but you physically and emotionally were not prepared. Okay? There were too many things maybe, you know, interrupting your time. I don't know. So does the then the stock gives you another opportunity. So it pulls again. Initial pop yanks again. Pulls this 41 area again. It seems to be hovering that. It curls around. Where would you log it if you missed it? Probably right, right here on this flag breakout at 43. You're better. You're, you're, you should have been down here, especially on this move upwards. All right. And then hold the stock to a 45 move. Again, I clarified already it's not a short. There's no short. I told you, do not short the stock. Don't you dare. Just play it. Get as low as you can and just let it play itself out. Now, if you're like a dark side, all right, or somebody that just would just like an atom where you'll just, you see, you understand the move, you know it's going to go there, you buy size and you'll play it all day until it makes you comfortable. Oh, I want four or five points on it is what you'll say. So let's say a dark side buys 500, 1,000 shares. He likes to play. He'll wait for it to reach a certain area. He'll start taking it 43, 44, and 45. Because remember, dark side can see from uh, a technical aspect that the stock has more of an upside move, right? So with that being said, you just, you know, so if you're one of those type of traders and you don't have all the time, so you can always, if let's just say you have the time and you want, no, I'm just going to do one trade today, one trade only. And you start attacking this, with 300 shares and you just let it rip all day until it hits four or five points 300 shares gives you 1200 so you have a choice you can make the money fast and be done for the day and go back to bed okay or you could be i'll just do one stock all day move to the upside aj says it's going to move up i want to take advantage of that okay let's do another one okay Let's do another one. Let's um, pick uh, I, IMUX. An, another simple trade. Okay, so here's IMUX. We got a real big push after hours yesterday. It's just, just a massive push, right? But you can see it wasn't holding up. So in pre-market, this is very essential very very critical to really understanding a movement of a stock let me explain to you something if imax information was so amazing it wouldn't have sold off the next day but when you get up and you start to see it gap from its previous push and it's gapping down that's a downtrend you see that that's a downtrend nobody's interested in buying this stock at all no one cares okay so this stock isn't going to get, it is, to me, I can already sense this is not a mover today. It's a short bottom curl, right? I can see it already. Oh, that's a, that's, but it's still gapping up from, from $10. It's still gapping up to 13. That's a play. That's a play for everyone in the chat room. Small account, big account, large account, small, it doesn't matter. How do you play it? Well, if it wasn't holding, right? So now I come in as a pro and start dictating where the stock's gonna bottom. First thing I do, I see why it's moved up. 
The first thing I do, I read the news. So I go to IMUC. Why are you up? Well, you're up because phase two trial to COVID-19 uh, right here approved in Germany. Okay, so it's another COVID pop. That's, that's what it is, right? COVID-19 pop again. Typically, those have been dumping because everyone's above, everyone's a part of the COVID-19 train, right? We already know that. The other thing I notice, there's no analyst. Nobody's indicating that the stock should be up more. So basically what's telling me is that, okay, traders, SPY's moving up a little bit. NVIDIA, TDD, Tesla, Netflix, and SHOP are all moving to the upside. So you can scalp those moves to the upside. In and out, 100 shares, make 30 40 60 $80. Okay, but be careful. Once Pelosi starts talking, if she says anything negative, the market will turn and the stocks will pull. But right now, again, if you're watching SPY, see, this is this is the correlation of SPY. Look, SPY is moving up, that small move, ooh, right? Then you come over here and you see the video start to move. There's the same direction. Ooh, it went from here to here. 100 shares, look, you're up $200. And it keeps moving, right? TDD. Again, whoop, spy moving. There's your move. 294 to 295.60. Shop. Again, small move from right here, 748 to 751 because of this movement right here. Okay. All right. So now on IM, IMUX, going back to that. So now I want to trade the opening bell on IMUX, all right? How do I trade it? Well, a lot of you can't find shorts. Some of you can, some of you can't. If, you're, if you can find shorts, all right, I'm telling you, based on the news information, based on the news information that I read, the fact that there was no analyst out there saying the stock is worth a certain amount, this should sell off based on the volume it will pull at the open to $10.50. When it pulls at the open to $10.50, I would long the stock for a bounce. That's the trade. Any dollar amount, any of you can trade it, that's the trade. You don't need a rocket scientist. You don't need a book. You don't need videos. You don't need lines and, 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 and all this technical analysis. You don't need any of that. Done. Throw that out. This is a moment for you to make money. A moment. This is your moment to make $100, $200, $300, $500. It's your moment. All you had to do was read the notes. And what does the note say? Follow the script. The script says, IMAX, do not buy unless it hits 13. Right? Otherwise, this will just snap to 1050 and under and then look uh, for a bottom curl. 1050 is the target. 1050 is the target. You hit that, you bounce it. Why? Because I gave the stock value. 1018 to 1050. I gave it value. 1018, 1050. I gave it four, 30 cent value. I gave that news what it justified. Now, all I want to do is play the move. So let's say you can't short it or you missed the short. Ding, 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 ding. Remember I said, do not buy it unless it hits 13. It didn't hit 13. There's a reason I've got that. Now I wait for the pull. I snap it. There's my first snap, 1073. I still think 1050 is in the cards and voila, $10.49. This was predicted before the market even opened. There's your buy. Ding, ding, ding. Long 1050. Play it back up. Guess what? You made a buck 30 to the upside move from 1050 entry to 1180. You did 100 shares with 1,000 buying power. 1,000 buying power. You made $120 for the day. 200 shares. Or 200 or 2,000 buying power, 
you just made three to four hundred for the day. Three hundred shares, you just made three fifty to four hundred for the day. And if you did five hundred shares, you just made seven hundred seven hundred fifty for the day on one trade on a cheap stock. How much would you need at five hundred shares? Five thousand buying power. You don't need much. You don't have to go after Tesla. You don't have to go. Remember, I keep telling you, if I didn't have Tesla, I'd be trading these little things. Because I realize as a, as, a, as a teacher or as an educator, not everyone's going to play Tesla with me. Not everyone's going to play shop. You see the nightmares that can go on, right? <laughs> you, you could see that it ain't a really pretty picture sometimes. You're down 400, down 600. Oh, my goodness. It's not always the best move, right? But if I can give you a $10 stock, a $20 stock, a $30 stock, a $50 stock, well, you can learn from those and then step your way up to a shop, into a Tesla, into a NVIDIA, right? Then you can make your money. Like right now, if I was, if I just came in the room and wanted to trade, right now, I'd just be doing this. I'd just be right here. I'd just be going like this. Oh, buying, boom, hit, pop it, 30 cents, sell, boom out i'd be playing each of these moves and by the time i'm done how many times have you seen me up 198 up 200 dollars up 30 got 15 on that you hear me always go i got 10 on that one i got 15 on that one i got 38 cent. i got 40 dollars on that one i got 14 on that one i got 20 on that one i got okay again i'm playing as it gives it to me i'm not playing to hold it and live with it i'm just playing as it gives it to me because it's an afternoon move. So if you're going to move to the upside, I'm going to play you. I'm going to long here, long here, long here, long here, long here, long here, long here. You keep popping, I'm going to keep longing. And then when it's done, it's done. And I'll tell you, okay, I made $178 just on this move. Now, again, a different trader might come in and go, well, why don't you just buy $200 and just let it go all the way to 317 I'm sorry. How do you know it's going to go up there? Are you, are you, did you just predict this, this afternoon move to 318? Yes, it looks nice, but at 315, you're not going to take profits from 314? See, this is a long right here. See that? That's a long. That's a buy. Right? That's a buy. Right? There is a push. There's a push. There's another push, you see? I'm making $30 in front of you. Right? You just see a PL. 18, 22, 31. Get it pushed a little bit more. But I would have sold that right there on that on that candle up there. See it? This is a quick $30 move. If it pops to 317.70, you make $40. Okay? And you just hit the sell button. So that's I, I I could I love scalp trading. It's just it's so easy. All right, so let's just take one more one more trade. All right, let's just take all right Kodak. How did you interpret Kodak this morning? Okay, well Kodak was running yesterday pretty pretty great. Raphael was calling it out, ran all the way to to twenty eight dollars, and then it. it it pulled back and then this morning it gapped up to 31. It held 31. It collapsed. All right. So to me, I got to figure out how do I play this stock now? All right. Now that it hit 31, we have room. Now forget it. There's I nobody saw the afternoon news until it came out. All right. So nothing you can do on that. I'm just talking the morning move. So what is the morning move? This is the morning move. All right. So when I look at this stock, I'm telling myself, okay, first of all, if you're new to trading, this isn't for you. Okay, if you come from a penny stock room, this isn't for you. You're not ready for this yet. But I do want you to practice. I want you to paper trade. I want you to get a feel for the stock and how it's going to work. Okay, so, um, but for you that have been trading a couple of years, you know, and, you, and you're ready for a move like this, trade smaller. Trade 100, 200, 300 shares. You don't need to blow out 1,000 shares, okay? That's, again, we're not here to hit the home run. 
yes, it looks nice after it's made its move. Man, I could have been a, I could have made a thousand dollars on that trade with a thousand shares. You could have made more. You could have made eighteen hundred. All right, I wanted to do that this morning. I was telling myself, oh man, I, I, Kodak's on my list. It's the number one pick. I'm gonna play it. But you know, once I made my three hundred dollars on Tesla on the first trade, on the first click. I knew right then and there, I don't need to size on Kodak. I want to go ahead and play 250 shares, be conservative, get 50 cents, 80 cents on the move, and I'll be happy. Okay? And that's exactly what I did. I should have, I could have played 500. All right? So, can you explain Al on the opening? Uh, Patrick, small pub, 36 at this point. I think a buy, but got shook out. And then lower, low city. Yeah, I'll explain. So, on CODK, Allo, Allo just keeps running. If it hit 38, I just wanted it to run. You know, if it broke and it snapped, I think it was 36 was the number, then I want to short it. Okay? But anyway, I'll show it to you. So on this one, okay, so this is how I set it up. It's just simply, uh, all right? So I, I tell you, let's read the notes now. Clarify the notes. Kodak. All right. Stock has room to 31. It's obviously loved the 25 spot this morning. So we already passed that. I would wait for another pop to 29 just to get confident. Then we get a quick move to 30. So I'm giving you about a one to two point play on the stock that it has room to run if it, can, if it goes. 25 was the great area to buy it this morning. If it pulls and we get an aggressive snap at the open to 23, 24, I would buy that and bounce that. No questions asked. I would buy it and bounce it. Okay, you see NVIDIA? Again, if I was trading right now and I didn't have a room, I would have been all over this. Click, 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 click. Look. This is about a $250, $300 trade right here between here and here. Just clicking. Because look at the move. 15 to 18. That's three, three and a half points. Right? 319. See, I'd just be buying that. I'd be buying these breakouts. Click. 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 I mean, this is money. Any one of you could do that trade. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. 30,000 buying power, 100 shares, bam. 50 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents. And I saw that from down here. Okay, so so now with Kodak, I just wanted to set it up. All right, so here's Kodak. Don't buy it. Let's just set 28 spot, 29. At 28, I was buying. I didn't wait for 29. I just waited right here. And you saw me in the morning. I'm going to pick this up here. I think it's going to break through 28. And sure as heck, it hit 28, and then it just ran. You see? So I decided instead of 29, I'll just wait for 28. And I did it live in front of you. So it wasn't like a lot of you went, I didn't hear you do that. Come on, seriously? I'm going to pick up 250 shares here at 28 level. I think it's going to pop. And I made my money right there on that pop. That's a 96 cent pop. I sold into that pop. On 250 shares, I was up $100. It was that simple. I, and then I tried to scalp it a couple of times, but the mark, it kept. So I was up 120. Pulled me back down. I went for it again. Kept opening the spreads. And I'm like, okay, forget it. And I ended up with $84 net on the trade, which is fine. It added to my P&L. Like if I was in the room and this news came out, I would have bought that weakness right there. The first two candles, I would have bought that. Because those are short cover squeeze. I would have bought that right there with 200 shares, 250. Not a home run attitude. And popped it here or here and sold it. I would have got at least a point on that move. This is not hindsight trading. This is just a fact of how I would have played a, a, a smash a smash and grab. I would have played this one here. And I would have played this one here. Okay. So, now let's go into one more. Okay, Allo. Now, Allo, this was interesting today. It made a big move to 46 after hours. So that has a big inkling to me where the stock, you know, might could or might go. 
At the same token, I had to read the news. The news was important to me. Why is Allo up? So I come over here and I punch up Allo. Why are you up? So I read it and it says right here, um, it's an earning, uh, wait a minute, jumps after reporting Allo 15 data. So they reported positive phase one. No, hold on, what phase was it? I think it was phase three. Hold on, Allo was positive data. Oh, it's just positive data on their on their news that they had positive data on their ALO 501 so this I had I looked at it and I said well it's up six I don't know if it's gonna pop and fade so I need to look at the analyst Patrick so the first thing I did is I went to the analyst this morning and I started reading I went okay I don't care about HC Wayne White but I got SunTrust downgrading it to hold to 32 that doesn't tell me it's gonna run hmm. let me look at SunTrust I mean, look at uh, Stifle. Stifle says he thinks the data conveyed supports being at par with the high bar set. All right. So uh, who is this one? Jeffries raised it to forty-five dollars from thirty-seven. So I got mixed. I got mixed here. Oppenheimer wasn't there this morning. It didn't happen until after the bell. So you can't use Oppenheimer. But that would have gave me an inkling right there, Patrick. The stock would run because Oppenheimer is a tier one firm. And they raised it from 44 to 50. So that told me not to short the stock. That one would have really dictated to me. But today, I thought, you know what? Okay, I've got, before the bell, I've got a 45 target from 37. And I got a downgrade hold to 32. So I'm up six. So this is how I'm going to play it, Patrick. Okay? There's a play in here. How I interpret it will be right here. So I want Allo. Don't buy it, Patrick, unless it pops to 38 with volume. If it does, it will push to 40. There's nothing to discuss anymore. That's it. It's done. That's your play. If it pops at the open to 38 with volume, the stock should move to 40 plus. All right? And then short it if, if, it's, if it starts to top off. If this is a small pop and lower lows start to set in, and it starts to break, then we got filled back to 32. Okay, so uh, because it hit 32 this morning, right? So now I look at the play. I set it up. All right, so ding, 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 ding. All right, this was already in pre market, right? This is the opening bell right here at 6 30. So here's the pop. All right. I did like that 38. If it pops to 38, but with volume, that's not really serious volume. You know, those candles, that's 50,000, 30,000, 40,000. So I'm kind of still hesitant on it. So we get a pull. We get to 36. We're not breaking, Patrick. We're not breaking. Curls back around. There's your 38. So on this particular trade, you almost just had to wait 15, 20 minutes for it to set up. But once it started to push back up, there's no short in the stock at all. Now you just wait. Once 38 hits, I'd be a buyer. And just walk it up. At least to 40, Patrick, you're going to get two points. So there's your buy. $38. Sell at 40. And you're done with the trade. Who cares if it goes to 41? Eventually it's going to start to sell off. Okay? But the if it was going to short... I wanted to really snap because we had some room to go, right? Because the stock closed at 31 yesterday. And we already hit pre-market of 32. So even if it starts to snap here, there's your short. I could still nail two or three points to the downside. But clearly it didn't hold. And so let's just say, let's say you were shorting the stock right here. You said, you know what? It's not breaking through that 38. I'm going to short it. And you pull it. And you're like, I think it'll snap 36, right? And if it doesn't, it starts to get, a, get away from you, just cover your position. Take what you can. If if you're shorting here and it starts to get around away from you, cut it off at 50 cents. Wait for the 38 move to the upside. Confirm with me. And I'll go, you know, Patrick, don't. I don't think it's a short right now. I think it's going to move to the upside. I'll tell you in two seconds. I can look at the chart and go, this is a, it's an upside move. Then from there, you'll play it to the upside. And you're all done. Okay. So just read the notes carefully. If the stock isn't going the direction you want or not breaking down and you're taking a hit 
a hundred, three hundred dollars on it, cut it. Just cut it right there. Ask me, AJ, do you see upside? Yeah, I do. Cut it, bottom curl, take it to the upside. Okay. Anyway, listen, this is kind of um like how to trade the open to my strategy. I I might make this one possibly even public today because it's it really talks about who we are inside this room and really setting up the plays. I'm not sure if you've talked about Revolve. If you haven't gone over, there's nothing to talk about Revolve. It's just a cap fill. Why aren't you talking about that one, Charles? I mean, the earnings weren't good enough. There wasn't enough upgrades on it. I mean, it's the same standard stuff I do. I mean, there's nothing all about it. It's just, it's a gap fill. 15 and under. Revolve always likes to sell their gaps. It's a standard thing for them. So I don't care if it was 18, 19, 20 a share. You better have great numbers for me to get excited. And again, it lacks volume. There's no volume, Mr. Benson. Where's the volume? Nobody was interested in this. I see nothing but people trying to get short in here, rising it up to short it down. So all I did was look at the numbers. And the first thing I did, two things, two steps, right? I punch up Revolve. All right, I look and I see, okay, they beat. Great. What's the analyst? 14, 11, 18, 15, and 17. All right? So that tells me an average of $15, 16 a share. 17, 15, 18, 11, and 14. That's that's $15 average. So the stock should settle around 15 and under. That's it. That's all. It, took, it took me two seconds. So then, and then it was fact that it was up thin, I would short the stock. So I go to the notes, revolve. Do not buy this unless you pop through 17. Then you'll get a quick move to 18 again. Otherwise, it's just a slow grind fade to 15 and under. That's it. That's your trade. Higher it pops, more the range to downside. Because why? Because the analyst gave me the value. Always do these steps, Mr. Benson. Look at the report. Read the analyst. Put those two together. Look at my notes. This guarantees you, oh, this stock's going to dump. When it hits 15 and under, I'll be a buyer. Then you come in, Mr. Benson. You can't buy the stock, right? Or you can't short it for whatever reason. So you wait for the pull to 15 and under. You bottom curl it, and look what you make. You make a one-point pop on a short covering right there because all the shorts are going to want to cover. If you waited for the opening bell, ding, 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 ding. Bam, slams the 15 and under at 1450 at the opening bell. Within the first minute, you could have covered your short or you along it right there. Slam it up. You're done for the day. 200 shares, a point and a half. 300 shares, a point and a half. 500 shares, a point and a half. Because, Mr. Benson, I gave it value. The value is 15. So as if it hits that area, you're going to get probably a bounce on the stock. And then guess what's going to happen after the bounce, Mr. Benson? You're going to grind out. And there's your grind. After this initial move is done, there's no more move. It's done. You finished it. Because why? Why, Mr. Benson? Because the value is $15. The value is not 18. The value is not 20. The value is not 22. The value is not 11. The value is not 7. The value is not $10. It's 15. And why do you think it's hovered 15 all day? This is what 16 years of experience gets you, traders. Not some dude that's been in the room for two years and then flies off on his own and says, I know more than he does. Okay? This is very simplistic, understanding, and interpreting how to read a stock. And each one that you do, you can pick from any on the list. And this is what makes our list so valuable. This is why so many rooms copy and paste it and put it in their rooms. But it starts here. You're the first ones to get it. You're reading it as I'm writing it. So you want to know how I make $1,000 every single day I wake up? I just, I see the move. I know what it's going to do. I mean, look at Tesla today. I don't see more than 765, 760 on a flush. After that, it's a solid move back up to 15 points. I want you to think about that for a second. How good do you have to be 
to take an eight hundred dollar stock and pinpoint where it's going to stop. How good? How many years do you have to trade to not only say it, put it in writing, but execute it? Okay. Now look at the stock. What it did. Look at Tesla today. You ready? Right. What did it do? And where did it hit? 764. I would have made hundreds of dollars on that move right there. This is why I can't watch this. This this is this is like traders, you just you just don't get it. You could be a rich person by just breakouts. You don't have to you do them. Look at this. You gonna tell me I'm not gonna play that? I mean this is ridiculous what you're getting today. Look at that. And look where you had it. Wanna know how I made nine hundred dollars? Huh? There's my pinpoint. 765. Done for the day. And look where it's going. That's ridiculous. That's a flag right, right there. That's a that's a boom. Right? So this is me. This is me right here. I'm getting her gearing up. I'm waiting right there. Waiting up. Waiting. I want to make sure it don't flush. Waiting right there. Waiting right there. Nope, it's not ready. It's not ready because I've already played this. I wouldn't need to play that. I wait for the curl. You see how these you see how these curls up? Look, let me show you something. You see how they're curling up? They curl up right here. I'm buying right here. They curl up. I'm buying right here. I don't buy here. I wait for the curl up to get right here. When it gets there, watch me buy. Ready? Here we go. Boom. You see it move? Boom. Up $60. I'm out already on that quick move. I would have been out right there on that quick move. Gearing up again. I do it again. Like this. There's a flag. Boom. I just made $80. Out. Up. Oh, made $100 on that trade. Boom. Buy that back. Pop it back. Boom. Made 60 more dollars. Buy it again. Boom. Pop it again. Boom. $80. Boom. 40 more. Are you kidding me? I would have went, okay, I made $260 so far. What did you do? Nothing. I just watched you make money. You have no idea how easy it is to trade. You don't. Just just look at the damn chart. That's all you got to do. Follow the breakouts. Don't be afraid. Hit, execute. Hit, execute. Hit, execute. This move right here, six points. I would have captured three or four of that. I can't look anymore. I got to get out of the room. I'm done. All right, so that is today's secret sauce. I think I might make this one public for others to hear. Because I think it was very thorough and very knowledgeable. I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, it's not often I put a secret sauce out there. You want to be a part of our great room and get this every single day, this education? Click the button right here. Hit awesomecalls.com. Scroll down. Just scroll down. Right? Click right here. I had two people sign up for an annual yesterday. Yearly options. Click here, here, or here, or monthly. All right. 25 for a day, 197 for a month, which is the best deal. $100 for a week. If you take one or the other, you upgrade to a month, we give you this $25 or $100 back. You want to really go in it? Then you can go to the yearly, six months, 997, two years, and then one year. Okay. And every day you get this kind of education. Every single day. Day you come in here, I will go over the place. I will guide you. I will help you. I will help you make money. I will show you step by step what I saw, how I saw it, what I was looking for. I will explain each of the moves. You can record it, notes it, whatever you wish. Okay, that's what we do here. That's what Secret Sauce is all about. And you could have been trading with me on on Tesla. I would have stopped what I was doing. If I, if I didn't have the room, 
I'd be doing at least 2,000 a day, traders, minimum. That's 50 a month, right? 2,000 a day, five days a week, 10,000, that's 40,000 a month. Look, that's a buy right there. Are you kidding me? That's a buy right there. Watch. Bought it. There's the move. I would have bought it right here before it made that move right here. You see this move? Look at this move. That's 78, right, to 30, 35, 40. It's going to move again, right? Sell it right there. Okay, $45 on that one. Wait again. Boom. That would have been a dollar. Oh, made another 50 bucks. Boom. Finished. Sold it right there. Click, 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 click. Uh, up twelve hundred for the day. You want to know how it's done? That's how it's done. Now you want to see how it's easy for me to make a thousand dollars on a on a six dollar move on a stock like this. This is why I play it. Look at it, it just keeps moving. Okay, buy it again. Bought the dip. Let's see if it pops. Boom. Just made a hundred dollars. <laughs> I, I gotta stop. I got, I got to stop. Oh my gosh. Look at that. $2 move. And how many of you just stared at this? I am. I don't want to play it because it's moving. No, yeah, I don't even want to practice it. Your paper trade account would be up over $5,000 if you just keep following these moves. Anyway, I'm done. I'm out of here. All right, let me stop the recording. 56 minutes of love.